Hey, so welcome back to the bench. So the other day, someone gave me, um, one of my buddies came over and he said, hey, listen, I have this receiver for you. Um, I don't need it. Somebody gave it to him and he had asked me, hey, do you want it? I thought, well, let me take a look at it. So this is it. It's, I know nothing about this. Uh, it's a Rycom uh, radio receiver of some type. And after doing some research online, Apparently, this receiver was used to monitor uh, radio stations and kind of figure out how close and how far the radio stations are from this test equipment, I guess. Um, well, that's what I was able to figure out. Maybe there's more to it, but it was used to, to monitor, I guess, to figure out how far the stations are from, from this receiver or how strong or how distant. And... You can see by it has an attenuator and it has a, 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 a RMS voltmeter. So I guess you can you can figure out how how strong the signal is coming in. But one thing that's really interesting is the is the frequency. It goes down from what is it from fifty to from fifty to zero uh, fifty uh, kilocycles all the way to six six hundred six no seven fifty. Oh, 800. I'm sorry. So you're down in the really down there in the low frequency. So it's interesting. So it also has your AM, lower sideband, upper sideband, BFO, FM. It has your, what is this, 2KC flat and 6KC audio. So, so this is an in interesting receiver. So I took the top off, and I just just to take a look, and it's pretty dusty. So let's take a look at this this radio receiver. So it does have a sixty eighty, and I think this is used as a regulator tube. And it's really dusty. So this is what it looks like inside. Interesting has a couple of uh, uh, nervistors. And there's another one, a couple of crystals. So yeah, so if anybody out there has an idea what this was used for, um, Leave me a comment. I'd like to know what this what receiver was used for. There's a lot of stuff on the internet. Um, nothing really stands out. Mainly just to test how far the radio stations were from the receiver or, or how powerful. And other folks talk about it was used in the, for the railroad company. But I don't, I don't know for what. I guess you have your power transformer. And you have an audio transformer, 10K, push-pull. This will be a, a dream transformer for those folks who are into um, audio, tube audio output. So that's that alone is worth something for a lot of folks. Anyway, so this is it. And like I said, I'm not quite sure what it does or what how it works, but... Let's power it on and see if it works. Oh, let me flip it over first, just to have you look underneath. Not much to it down there. So I tell you what, let me power it on. Let's see if we can get this beast to make any noise or blow up. Okay, hold on, be right back. Okay, so I don't have a BNC connector. All I have is a simple wire antenna, and I'm plugging it directly into the wire BNC input. Got the power connected, and let's try this this machine out. Let's see what it does. Where's the off and on? Speaker on. Oh, let me turn off my, my lights because I know these lights make a lot of noise. 
Oops, I gotta turn on power over here. They hear hum. think is affirmation that we're on the right path i think we have shown that with our support something. this year and in 19 and establishing this club within a short history as a club that's going to compete every year it's one of pride and it's certainly for what we hope will be an amazing it's our staff our supporters and our city with the exception of last year 2021 and not making the playoffs for lafc I think the club has probably achieved a lot of those goals. I have one in, as well, just in case I lose my passport, I need to drive to Canada. You can at least drive across the border. Drive to Canada or Mexico. Or get over to walk. cruise. Walk. With that. <laughs> I'm starting off today, <laughs> heading to Canada. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That would be fun. You drive somewhere and then you walk. You don't walk the whole way. <laughs> it's a long way to walk from here. Well, I've walked across the bridge. It's fun. Yeah. yeah that would be fun. Yeah. yeah, my daughter did that in Mexico because she had lost her passport. She had the passport card. Couldn't fly to Mexico. Oh, yeah, but, but she flew to San Diego or wherever. Oh. And for the What is that? Burro, no, she walked across the bridge, got hard work there, and then she took a flight. This is flying. Should Mike make a global entry on his. Well, that's a TSA. I think this is AM640, right? We were listening to, so this is the end of the band. I was hoping for maybe we can get at least broadcast, so the complete broadcast band will make a nice AM radio, but does it? got something. First out of the gun again, Clance, he has the number high stand. Shoot off over the right guard, Dejan Edwards, cutting to the right side, the fumble, the football, it's loose, and still covered, and it looked like Bennett had it, it was out of his hands, Tennessee has covered the football. Not much on these frequencies. Anyways, if anybody out there knows what this was used for, 
um, leave a leave a comment. Uh, I know a lot of us want to know what this receiver was originally intended to be used for. Like I said, it some people say it was used for monitoring radio stations. Just kind of figured out how far. And some of them, some folks say it was used for the railroad company. Um, I'm not sure that makes a difference, but it says railway. That's just the company, railway communications. But I don't think that's part of the uh, train stations, railroad company at all. But anyways, just wanted to share this quick uh, receiver with you guys. Something I acquired. Somebody uh, gave me this and thought it would be fun to, to play with and to listen to and trying to figure out what this is all about. Nice little receiver. Oh, that moved. I guess I guess there's a lot of loose parts in here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.